Hey y'all, it's Chloe and we're back with another video. Y'all, Ready to Love is Ready to Love in, okay? There's a leaked audio of Vanessa, I guess, kind of admitting to the fact that her and Chaz have been, like, intimate, I guess. Chaz has posted some things on Instagram that we got to get into. And I did reach out to Chaz, okay? I did ask him. Hey, y'all been intimate, but we're going to get into it, okay? But before we do, I need you guys to do me a favor. If this is your first time here, sit back, relax, watch the video through. And if you like what you see and you like what you hear, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If y'all one of my lovely members or subscribers, hey, y'all, how y'all doing? Y'all, we got some things to get into. So let's just start off with this. So it appears that Married 10 Years on YouTube alluded to the fact that Chaz and Vanessa, I guess, were having sex, right? So, Vanessa sent her a message, a DM, an email. I'm not really sure of how the message got to her. But the message said, Miss Deborah, I was watching this review on my phone in my room, and despite a well-executed effort to present myself respectfully on the show, my six-year-old son walked into my room and stared horrified at the phone as you describe how I have been touching Chaz off camera. For the record, there has been no sexual relationship between Chaz and I on or, or off camera. I had to explain to my son that you were lying and that people sometimes make the stories up that they want to believe. It is baffling the way I have gotten caught in a crossfire of these men's egos. While I have only showed both of them care and they have both claimed to take care of me. Where is the protection of black women in that? I do an episode recap weekly on Match Marry Mate YouTube channel. I will recommend you tune in if you want to have a better understanding of me and my thought process rather than protruding lies and speculation, Vanessa. <sighs> okay, so I guess I understand the fact that like we do sometimes as reviewers, you know, speculate, um, have assumptions, throw out our throw out our opinions on like maybe they doing it, things like that, okay? And Vanessa felt some type of way and I could understand why, especially the fact that, you know, her son walked in and heard the review. But she has to understand that when you go on a dating show and it comes off as if you're attached to someone, a lot of times people will be like, oh, they must be doing something on or off camera. Like something has to be going on. So there's a leaked video of Vanessa basically admitting that her and Chaz kind of hooked up and that they were kind of playing this off for the camera. Now, I'm going to play y'all the audio that I heard on Kamisha Reviews channel. If y'all want to go hear her commentary, go over there to her channel and check it out. But I'm going to play it for y'all and then we're going to get into it. Good morning. Um, I'm, a, I'm about to respond to your message, but I was just sitting here on the phone. I was telling my friend, I was telling my best friend, I'm like, you know, you know, I told Tommy, I haven't seen, you know, I haven't, I had, I still have not had an intimate date with Chaz. I'd be around there complaining about how we don't have time together. And then she said, meanwhile, you in the parking lot tucking him down. <laughs> the inconsistency, because I'd be in there really painting a picture like, you guys have deprived me of time with Chaz. Whole time, we just figured out what we need to do. That is really funny to me. She had me cracking up. She's like... Not you on the screen complaining about never being able to see Chaz and grow your relationship. And then next week, you're going to be on the episode pregnant. <laughs> and everybody is going to be looking like, how did this come about? <laughs> I don't know. I think that was a moment where you had to be there. But I felt like when I retold that, that was going to be funnier. But I was crying. Okay. Okay. So hear me out. Hear me out. Vanessa... Eh, 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 eh. Because now it seems like it's something else going on. Y'all know how y'all talk about these alliances and everything. Let's get into the things of the things. Because it sounds like Vanessa is playing it up for the cameras. Telling Tommy, oh, I haven't had any intimate dates with Chaz. Meanwhile, y'all was in the parking lot kissing. Meanwhile, you don't have no time with him, but you could pop up pregnant. I mean, I don't know about y'all, but the only way you could get pregnant is through sex. Okay, I just had a baby four months ago and I know how he was conceived. I have an 11 year old and I know how she was conceived and it definitely wasn't through kissing. Mm, 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 mm. So what's tea? 
So like, are we in a secret relationship and we just trying to figure out how to navigate and y'all don't want to put it out there that y'all on a relationship? Okay. Now I reached out to Chaz because I had to see what was going on. So when I went to Chaz's page first, because I wasn't following him and I know he has checked out a few of my reviews because I seen him in the comments and he posted, you can't get pregnant from kissing, but kissing led to so much more. Chaz ready to love. In the caption of that video, he also wrote, we did get it, we did get it in nice and nasty. So someone hacked my phone, new phone number up now. Y'all, Chad said his phone got hacked and that's how the audio got out there. So y'all know me, I got to do my research because your girl needs to do her research. So I went to the source myself. I said, hey Chaz, so I'm watching Kamisha's channel and I'm trying to understand something. Were you and Vanessa intimate? You don't have to answer, but I figure I ask. See, I'm not the one to be like, kiss and tell, kiss and tell. If you don't want to tell that you kissed, then that's on you. But I just wanted to know, okay? And he said, Vanessa refers to my connection with her as a relationship. My phone was hacked and some audio messages between us are circulating. I don't want to disparage anyone, but stuff did happen off camera. I don't know what that sound like to y'all, but to me. It sounds like stuff did happen off camera. Now, he never said that they slept together, which I respect. But he did allude to the fact that things happened. And the fact that he said that kissing led to so much more makes me think that there was more than just kissing going on. You know what I mean? You know what I mean, child. Now, I'm sitting here thinking to myself, I don't judge anybody. If y'all wanted to hook up and have sex and do whatever y'all wanted to do, that is completely up to y'all. Y'all are grown. This won't be the first time and it won't be the last time that people was having sex on Ready to Love because we already know that sometimes these things be going on. Now, my thing is, if y'all was in a relationship, now he said that she referred to the connection as a relationship. Now, I'm not to say that they was in one or not in one, but when you listen to the audio and she said it like we just trying to figure out what we doing, makes it seem as if they had already narrowed down on each other, which is why she probably was in her feelings at the getaway when she saw him in the bed with Mika holding hands. And she was like, I guess you already made your decision where you sleep. And he was like, no. And I was like, they was just laying there. It's not like they was doing it or anything. And that's probably because y'all was doing it. <laughs> Child, I do not know all the facts. All I am doing is bringing y'all what I have and y'all could piece together the pieces that y'all want to piece together. Um, out of respect for Chaz and Vanessa, y'all grown. Everybody is grown and you can do whatever you want to do. I would suggest don't go emailing people lying. You told Miss Deborah that she was putting out lies. But then the audio seems to say something else. And I think that's kind of messed up. Because now it's like, what was the purpose? What was it for? So Chad said his phone got hacked. And that's how the audio messages got out there. Now, he said like it was more messages. So if I hear more messages, I bring y'all the messages. But that's the only one I heard so far. And I'm going to keep my eye out on this story. And I'll keep y'all updated. I hope you guys like the video. Like the video. Thumbs up the video, hit that subscribe button, turn on your notifications so you will be here for all the reviews and the updates. Now I need to go get into Love is Blind, the reunion, because baby, I caught some of it last night and they was going in. Okay, they was going in. With all that being said, I'm going to talk to you guys later. Don't forget to hit that like button, comment down below, and subscribe. Peace.